Hey, what's up? It's Deanna. And today I'm going to show you something I just recently acquired from eBay. And this came today and I was really, really excited. And what these are, are circa 1890-1900 antique Victorian opera glasses. And opera glasses were generally used by the upper middle class and wealthier people. Back then, they didn't have TV, they didn't have YouTube, they didn't have very many entertainment um, outlets back then. So going to the play or going to the opera was like, you know, theater was it back then. And that was the thing to do if you had money. Now, tickets for these type of shows were very, very expensive. And generally, ladies were slaves to fashion. So a lot of ladies had to like show off the latest of all accessories. And they did not want to be caught without opera glasses at the opera. Now, a lot of people think that, oh, you know, a lady or a gentleman would have opera glasses just to look through them to see the people on the stage. But for ladies, that wasn't true. They actually like to spy on other people. So a lady at the opera wouldn't just look at the people on the stage. She'd check out the people in the audience and actually compare, I guess, her outfit to other ladies' outfits or try to see her friends or, you know, it was more of a social type of use, if you think about it. Now, these were made in France. And they were made by a company by the name of Iris. And I don't know if you can see that, but on the eyepieces, you'll see the word Iris. And I believe that says Paris. And it was a company that operated out of France and they made the most beautiful, beautiful opera glasses. Now, these particular opera glasses, a lot of people think erroneously that these are mother of pearl. And this particular shell that these are actually adorned with are not mother of pearl. It's actually something called abalone. I don't know if I pronounced it right. Abalone or abalone shell. And it is not a pearl. It is not, um, it's a, it's actually like a pearl, like mother of pearl. And it's like an oyster shell. And it was found in the bottom of the ocean. Now pearls, a lot of them were um, found in the marine area like oceans and also in freshwater. But abalone was mostly found at the ocean's bottom and not in fresh water. Now, the abalone shell is actually, it's very rare to get a pearl from it. And it cannot be actually farmed like regular mother of pearl can be farmed. And so this is actually more expensive than mother of pearl. As a matter of fact, the abalone shell is so hard that people in the construction industry for many, many centuries have been trying to emanate what the um, chemicals are in the shell of the abalone to try to find um, ways to make materials for construction um, actually as uh, strong as the shell of the abalone. Now the abalone is almost extinct. Um, extinct. Um, there's, um, it's actually a protected species right now because they were hunted for so many years, not only for food and for the rare once in a while you can find an abalone pearl, but for the fact that abalone is so decorative. You um, actually um, see a lot of this in jewelry, especially from the Victorian of, I'm sorry, the Victorian era. And um, the colors of the abalone are very, very iridescent and very, very shimmery. It's almost like a peacock's feather. And no two shells from the abalone are the same. So all the colors, it's like a fingerprint and or a snowflake like no two are the same and you find all different patterns of colors in the abalone now these are actually lorgnette um opera glasses and a lorgnette is like a handle something with a handle on it it's a french word don't know if i pronounced it right if i didn't don't laugh at me but uh these were more expensive than the regular opera glasses without the handle and a much wealthier woman would have carried these now, look how beautiful, look at the detail on these opera glasses. I mean, they are so exquisite and they still work, which is amazing. So once again, thanks for watching. If you like what you see and you learn something, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. And if you do subscribe, please make sure you hit the notification bell and choose all notifications. Thanks so much for watching and have a great evening.